Today's band director's guide to Pyware is all about coordinate sheets, how to use them, how to use them in rehearsal and modify them so that when you print them off, your kids have exactly the information they need to have an awesome rehearsal. Let's get started. So if you have a certain way of doing uh, your, your terminology for rehearsal, you can uh, customize that here in Pyware. And if you go to print and print coordinates, you can see that uh, the terminology comes up and there is quite a lot of uh, differences or variances in people's um, vocabulary kind of across the country. Some people like side A and side B, side one and side two, uh, left or right, whatever side you'd like. Um, I like to modify mine uh, to look like this. I make all of these uh, uppercase. It tends to stand out on the coordinate card. Uh, a little bit better for the students. You have inside and outside for your yard lines and in front of or behind for your hashes. Now, some people use inside and outside hashes as well to keep things the same, um, but I find in front of and behind works quite well for the front to back coordinates. I would recommend for your students that you can have them uh, have uh, at least uh, the set numbers, transition counts, so that when they look at it, it says 16 counts or 8 counts or 12 counts, or however long it is. Um, if you have a lot of stuff in your title, uh, in your production sheet, you could even put that there. Sometimes that helps when you put in your titles um, letter A, letter B rehearsal markings. So that tends to help. Um, I do not merge my subset counts. I tend to um, just have pages for subsets. And I print mine on a quarter page. So mine will look a little bit like this. Uh, this is, a. Uh, I just had a couple of pages in there. There's some, there's 20 sets. I used to do hold sets for my uh, A pages for my hold sets. Um, and then you have all the counts, of course. Side one, um, you know, has all of the, um, oh, these are prop dots. Let's see if we can find a student dot. There we go. Side two, um, I like to have, again, front, and uh, outside and those type of things uh, capitalized so that it's easier to see on their sheet. Um, another good thing to use, and I've had it re requested, is uh, measures as well. So you can put the measures in. So I'll show you the difference between that. So if we add the measures, um, that kind of makes the probably the, the perfect trifecta, if you will, of info. So for the students, they can see that the measures are there, the counts, and then their coordinate. So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.